The impressive China. The impressive China simplified Chinese. Wu Meiying Chu and Kai traditional Chinese. Wu Meiying Chu and Kai pinyin. Wu Meiying Chu and Kai is a 2014 Chinese television series based on events in 7th and 8th century Tang Dynasty, starring producer Fan Bingbing as the titular character Wu Zhexian, the only female emperor impress Regnet. It is the third television production by Fan Bingbing Studio and boasts of a budget of over 300 yen million, roughly US $49.53 million. As such, it is believed to be among the most expensive TV series in Chinese history, beating the previous record of 280 yen million by Heroes and Sui and Tang Dynasties 2013. The television series was first broadcast on Hunan Television on 21 December 2014 in mainland China. Synopsis During Tang Dynasty's second reign, Wu Rui Fan Bingbing enters the palace at age 14 as an innocent, cairn talented lady and aspires to serve Emperor Taizong Zhang Fengyi as his consort. The Emperor Taizong soon takes notice of her and falls in love with her due to her resemblance to impress Wend. He also gives Wu Rui the name Mei Ning. This incites many to grow jealous of her, and Wu Rui suffers the machinations of noble consort Wei, pure consort Yang, virtuous consort Yin, Xiao Kang, and Feng Kern. Even her best friend Zhu Hui Jianine Chang betrays her to win the emperor's affections. They set out to destroy her numerous times by falsely accusing her of theft, murder, and treachery. She survives by her wits and intelligence but is kept at arm's length by Emperor Taizong due to a prophecy foretelling a woman of Wu stealing the Tang dynasty. When Emperor Taizong dies, she is sent to a monastery to become a nun. However, the emperor's youngest son Lai Zhai Arif Raman, who later becomes the Emperor Gaizong, has been in love with her since he was a child. He brings her back to the palace and makes her his concubine. During her time as a minor consort to Emperor Taizong, she learned how an effective emperor rules his court. She overcomes the schemes of consort Xiao Vianzhang and Empress Wang Shishi, and suppresses the rebellion of Princess Geyang Mai Lu. Using that knowledge, she helped Lai Zhai take back power from his regent and herself into the position of Empress meanwhile avenging her daughter's death. She co-ruled with Lai Zhai until his death, after which she ruled the country in her own right and established the Zhu dynasty. Cast Main Fan Bingbing as Wu Meiying Empress Wu Zhexian, Zhang Fengyi as Lai Shimin Emperor Taizong, Arif Raman as Lai Zhai Emperor Gaizong, Janine Chang as Zhu Hui Abel Consort Su, Supporting Emperor Taizong's Harin Mums Harin. Zhang Ting as Noble Consort Wei, Kathy Chow as Pure Consort Yang, Zhang Tong as Virtuous Consort Yin, Zhang Ding Han as Impress Wen Slash Ying Wen Yin, Nai Mei as Able Consort Liu, Sun Jia Kai as Xiao King, Zhang Zai Ting as Feng Kern, Liu Zhai Zai as Chen Meren, Emperor Gaozong's Harim, Shi Shi as Impress Wang, 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 He as Impress Wang, she is impress Wang, press Wang. She is impress Wang, press 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 Wang, 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 press Wang, press Wang. Vian Zhang as consort Zio, Huey Bing as Liu Shi, Liu Shi, Sandra Ma as Helen Min Yu, as Helen Min Yu, as Helen Min Yu. Royal family. Li Li Zhen as Prince Lai Chengjin. Lai Jai as Prince Lai Kei. Ren Shen as Lai Tai. Zhu Yongyu as Lai Yu. Lai Yu. Lai Yu Xi as Crown Princess Su Mei. Su Mei. Hey Su Mei. And Su Mei. Hey Su Mei. Mai Lu as Princess Ge Yang. Hui Kan as Lai Suji. Zhang Shuanming as Lai Zhang. Chen Jinyuan as childhood Lai Zhang, Lai Zhang, Lai Zhang, Lai Zhang. Kang Fajin as Lai Hong. Wang Wenji as young Lai Zion. Yu Wentong as mid age Lai Zion. Zai Yuli as Wei Shi. Ministers and generals. Lai Chen as Lai Mu. 
Wu Ziubo is younger Zheng Jianji. Wei Zai is older Zheng Jianji. Wang Huichun as Zheng Sun Wuji. Wang Kai and Hin as Zheng Sun Chong. As Zheng Sun Chong, mm, Chong, 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 Chong. Yao Yanlin as Cheng Yuan Yi. Zheng Zia Zhang as Pei Yan. Liu Ziu as Zhu Jing Zong. Lai Yanqing as Chu Suiyang. Lai Guangfu as Wei Zheng. Yu Heiming as Lai Chunfeng. Yu Ele as Lai Yifu. Hu Jai as Hu Junji. Liu Zaioxi as Fang Shunling. Zhu Zio Hui as Fang Yai, Princess Geyang's husband. Sun Ning as Lai Shaiji. Qin Kidong as Bianji, Princess Geyang's illicit lover. Illicit lover. Illicit lover. <laughs> Sit lover, sit lover, sit lover, sit lover. Zhu Jai as Dai Renji. Servants. Shen Beioping as Wang Da, Emperor Taizong's personal attendant. Yizin as Chengxin, Crown Prince's companion. Wang Zhen as Chen Ying, Consort Wei's personal attendant. Chen Cici as King Shun, Consort Yang's personal attendant. Two Limin as Liu Xiao, Consort Dis personal attendant. Wang Yanan as Wen Yang Zhu Hui's personal attendant. Gao Yuan as Ruian. Other. Shota Matsushima as Mitsub Amamori, a Japanese chess player. Yes, player, yes, player. Production. Jijing Talent Television and Film, China Film Group Corporation, Evergrande Film Company, Dutch Publishing Media Company, Jilin Television and Guangxi Television co-financed the TV series. A project starting press conference held on December 28, 2012. Then, the director was Liu Jiang, who quit the project later due to a busy schedule. The official character posters were released on February 12, 2014. The release of the photos was a gift sent by the crew to the TV audience for the Chinese New Year, Fan said the role was one she had always dreamed of playing and every generation had different interpretations and she hoped she could interpret the character in her own way. Filming began on December 28, 2013 and ended on August 16, 2014. Filming locations included Wuxi, Hengdian World Studios, Nanjing and Shaoxing. A broadcast press conference was held in Beijing on December 18, 2014. The TV series has more than 260 sets of clothing for Fan Bingbing and more than 3,000 sets of clothing for the whole crew, with the most expensive piece being the dragon robe at over 500,000 CNY. Wu Hongliang, one of the producers, said the crew had more than 600 people. Shooting lasted for almost 10 months, and several writers worked on the script for three years. The series' Chinese name was initially Wu Zeshen, and then renamed to the legend of Wu Zeshen. Just two days before the broadcasting date, it was renamed again as the legend of Wu Meining. This was required by the State Administration of Radio, Film and Television, SARFT. Soundtrack The series' musical score was composed by Dong Dong Dong, who previously wrote the music to No Man's Land and Beijing Love Story. At the first, the production company intended to invite musicians from Korea, Japan and China mainland, but the idea was changed due to China's censorship policy on TV series changing. Initially, one TV series could broadcast on four satellite channels, but in 2015 it was revised to allow broadcasting on two satellite channels. Considering the cost recovery and the busy post-production schedule, the production company invited the native composer Dong Dong Dong. The opening song was called Kai and Q Chinese, Kai and Q Lit, for thousands of years, sung by Sun Nan. The closing theme song was called Wu Zai Bei Chinese, Wu Zai Bei, Lit Wordless Tablet, sung by Jane Zhang, lyrics by Vincent Fang, and music by Arif Raman. The song premiered during a Sina live stream session on 16 December 2014 and topped the new song chart as the most listened song with the view count exceeding 1.37 million.
For TVB broadcast in Hong Kong, the opening song was called The Impressed Chinese, New Huang, sung by Joey Young. China and Taiwan Hong Kong, Hong Kong Broadcast the Impressive China began airing from December 21, 2014 exclusively on Hunan Television in mainland China, and has also been broadcast on Chongqing Television in Taiwan, TVB in Hong Kong, and Golden Town Film Company, Limited in Thailand. Mainland China, China The TV drama was suspended for four days from December 28, 2014 to January 1, 2015. Hunan Television said on its official Sina Weibo account that the TV drama will stop from Sunday on due to technical reasons, but will return to the screen on January 1, 2015. However, it was reported that the actual reason for this suspension was because the dresses were too exposing, especially in the chest region, and the broadcasting authorities demanded the broadcaster edit the TV drama and then submit again for censorship. The show returned to screens on January 1, 2015, but with edited scenes that removed much of the shots of cleavage area. Wide shots and close-ups were heavily employed to minimize the amount of cleavage. Chinese Internet users responded by complaining about the censorship on Weibo. Several complained that they would not be able to see the hundreds of costume changes by Fan Bingbing. Some reports noted that the Tang Dynasty was one of the greatest dynasties in ancient China, and women were known to wear revealing attire. Likewise, any scenes showing intimacy or affection between the protagonists were completely cut like the bathtub or kissing scenes, which makes following the drama's storyline difficult at times. Taiwan Taiwan began airing the drama March 30. 2015 on cable channel CTI TV and free to air channel CTV. Both stations aired the series in its entirety, uncut and uncensored. Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Hong Kong free to air channel TVBJ began broadcast of the drama on April 26, 2015. Due to the length of the series, the drama was reduced by 10 episodes and TVB also changed their broadcast schedule to have the drama air throughout the entire week Sunday to Saturday. In order to avoid the cleavage exposing controversy without zooming in scenes like the version aired in mainland China, TVB hired CGI experts to add an effect clothing to cover up the cleavage. TVB also aired original audio and a Cantonese dubbed version on their Jade channel. Reception The Impress of China was a commercial success. The show's first episode broke rating records. Despite the re-edits to please Sarft, the viewership ratings of The Impress of China remained at an all-time high. Its final episode achieved a rating of 4%, making it the highest-rated drama of the year. Despite its success, the drama received mixed to negative reviews. The audiences praised the beautiful costume, but complained the slow narrative rhythm and said the plot turns dramatically without foreshadowing, as it's broken and not linked well at all. Some reports noted that the protagonist was overpowered and was not a factually accurate account of history. Wu Zeshen had several battles with her opponent Zhang Sun, Wu Ji in history, but in the drama, Wu Zeshen was shaped into an innocent woman. Mainland China China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Awards and Nominations, International Broadcast, 